y'all, I'm back and I've been playing with some surfactant and I've made a hand wash and I want to share it with you guys today. I made this formula to address sensitive skin. So it is a sensitive skin hand wash. And I'll be talking about one special ingredient that really makes this hand wash special as well as some of the anti-inflammatory ingredients that I chose. I'm using heated distilled water and I heated this to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using Pro Panadiol. It's a humectant. It's not as sticky as glycerin. The surfactant that I'll be using today is Plantapon SF. This is a mixture of some very mild surfactants. Actually, there are five in here. And you could actually just use this surfactant and add water QS, and you would have a very nice hand wash. And we'll be using Lamesoft PO65. This is cocoa glucoside and glycerol oleate. We'll also be using sea buckthorn extract. And this is an anti-inflammatory, anti-irritant to soothe irritated skin and a conditioning ingredient or to soften and smooth the skin. And chamomile extract. This also helps with inflammation and perfect for sensitive skin. And a bit of sweet almond oil for its anti-inflammatory properties and the moisturizing properties. And I'm sure that you can guess what ingredient is coming up next. We'll always need this in any water-soluble product. The preservative I'll be using is Liquid Journal Plus. And vitamin E mixed cocoa ferals. This is an antioxidant and it extends the oils in your, the shelf life of your oils in your products. We're using some xanthan gum, which is a natural thickener. So let's go ahead and put it together. I used 58.35 grams of distilled heated water to 122. I want to stop right here and I want to talk about the lame saw. PO65. This is where I talked about earlier in the video about the special ingredient. This is a lipid layer enhancer and it actually deposits the glycerol oleate on the skin to help it feel moisturized and it also softens and smooths the skin. So this is great for that sensitive skin type it feels irritated. This is actually going to feel so moisturized. It also is good for wash offs. It also helps rinse all the surfactants and everything off of your skin while you're cleansing it. So, this is a great addition to a face wash, a body wash, or a hand wash, and particularly for the sensitive skin. And I added one gram, and this is the reason I heated the water a little bit so that I could incorporate this in a little better because um, my little lab back here, it probably stays about 68 to 70 degrees, so it kind of gets a little bit stiff and it's a little easier to mix in when I heat up the water. And I have one gram of the chamomile extract. Remember, this is good for an anti-inflammatory. And I add in one gram of the sea buckthorn extract, and then I mix this all together until it's incorporated. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm adding in the Plantapon SF, the surfactant, pre-blended surfactant, and I'm adding 30 grams. And again, you could actually use 30 grams of the surfactant and then 70 grams of water, and you'd have a, a nice little hand. 
Next, I had in 0.7 grams of sweet almond oil and 0.05 grams of liquid germal plus. And 0.05 grams of the mixed tocopherols or vitamin E. And you can see I'm struggling to get such a small amount off the watch glass. I had to mix it with my other phases to get it out of there. We're just going to stir until all of this is combined. Next, I'm going to mix up 7 grams of propanediol and the xanthan gum. I use 0 0.50 grams of xanthan gum and combine this. I mixed it up just a little bit and then I had to let it sit about 15 or 20 minutes for it to thicken up before I could pour. And now I'm just going to stir in the xanthan gum. I did have to put this on the magnetic stir for about 10 minutes to incorporate everything. And it came out just beautiful. You'll see me here um, showing you a test of the lather and the rinse off. And this is just a really nice um, hand wash. And the person that I made it for is telling me that their hands are just looking so much better um, since they've been using this hand wash. So, I just want to thank you guys for continuing to come back. I want to thank you to all my subscribers. As of today, there are 206 of you. So, I just want to thank you so much for continuing to come back and watch. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions about the formula or if you need any help, just let me know and I'll be glad to help you with it. pH on this, after I was um, through mixing all the ingredients, came out at 6.29, which I felt was a lot high. So I did adjust it with a 50-50 citric acid solution. It took two drops. And the final pH came out at 5.20, which is perfect. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.